hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick overview presentation of our aeroponic system. So this is the first year we've done this and we're about to take it apart. It was nice and luxurious until last week and now something happened and I'll let you know about it. But um, this is a high pressure aeroponic system, meaning that the system builds to 80 pounds of pressure and we have two misters. Uh, supplying water and nutrients to the to the roots and the advantage of this system is that we can have smaller hair roots or root hair that will uh, give even more nutrients to the plants and have a faster grow and um, better better yield so I just want to first off explain how we built uh, these barrels so we bought three 45 gallon barrels which we um, made holes every seven inches more or less each way vertically and horizontally so we can see here where we after we drilled the hole inserted two inch pipes which we uh, use a hot a hot a heat gun to uh, size to, to, to pry it up so that they're more or less vertical. So that's the idea of how many we have. And we decided to go with the two inch um, basket and with the rock wool. So more or less this is how it starts in the beginning but uh, we can see all the fine hair kind of growing at the top here. But these baskets fit perfectly in the two inch pipe so that's why we we use these we'll just quickly take a look inside and you'll understand how many uh, pipes are in there and how many and if you could look on the right you'll notice how many see those road systems and how small the hair is so over here we have the misters so we decided to put two misters per um, per barrels just in case one would clog up and those are high pressure misters they're supposed to bring the mist down to 50 microns and that's what uh, NASA has researched and that's what the industry says it should be so that the um, the root hair develops on the root system so 50 microns is your target and so from my research, the only way to attain th that fine mist is high pressure. You'll have different uh, systems like um, drip system, like the tower garden. That's a drip system, and that will. It's kind of a. It's kind of more of a hydroponic, meaning it has the water touching the roots, and that what feeds the the root system. So that's a bit of a different uh, way. So let's move over to the other side. And we can take a look of different crop that we decided to have. We have dino kale, uh, we have um, Italian tomatoes, some bok choy, um, and this huge thing here is the reason why our barrels tipped over last week. So, as you can see, it's an okra plant. And let's take over than this one. See what's happening here? It's actually ripping off my tube from the barrel and look at the size of this this is just this season and it's basically filled the two inch pipe and the weight of these plants made my barrel tip over why because they're kind of um, light they have no water in them right they're, they're just air spray and the water is drained back to the to the nutrient system so these we will not put again next year because because they're uh, they're a pain. They also have huge leaves, beautiful leaves, but they. What is it? It's an okra, and they they take the sun from all the other plants below, so it's kind of starving all the other plants that are below. So, anyways, we learned. We've got the system just on right now. Let me open the. Uh, you'll see what's going on. 
we're on we're on a six second cycle cycle every five minutes so that's why we're just praying so just a quick overview of uh, the, the pump system water starts from our um, nutrient reservoir which we feed um, nutrients and we lower the pH depending on our uh, so we keep our pH between 1.8 and 2.2 uh, our, our ppm nutrient. yeah a nutrient uh, and our pH between 5.5 and 6.5 but we're constantly having to adjust that we even had to put a water cooler in there to cool off in the wind in the summer because it got so hot so lesson for next year We'll need a bigger reserve because we're when it's really hot we have to fill these every day and sometimes twice a day so bigger 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 reserve will be lower maintenance or a drip system to the reserve we've tried that that would work also if we had like a hose that would drip into our reserve and then we just uh, adjust the nutrients anyways so our, our water comes from the the reservoir it's filtered just uh, John Guest inline filter mesh filter number 100 mesh we got the um, Aquatech 8800 which is industry is raving about for this kind of a application so this will build the pressure up to 80 pounds so right now we've got 70 pounds and because it's hooked up to uh, an accumulator tank the pump will only come up to um, will, will it only turn on every every 15 minutes or so every three cycles because once it, the solenoid is on it just only uh, is on for eight seconds it doesn't have enough time to remove the pressure completely so we have like three cycles before the pump has to, to trigger and this will this is controlled by the pressure switch. So the pressure switch is adjusted to, um, to, 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 to turn on at more or less 60 pounds and turn off around 85 or 90 pounds. So this is how this one cycles and controls the pump. What, con what controls the cycle, how many seconds per minute, is this timer. So the timer is a 24 volt well, this is a 24 volt um, transformer, DC transformer, and this is just a normal outlet timer. But the advantage of this one, it's an on, on Amazon, and it uh, will have a loop timer. So it will, uh, you can, you're able to control or program how many seconds on, how many minutes off. So in this case, we want eight seconds on, five minutes off. This is what happens. So this is what pushes the uh, water flow towards the misters. And below at the bottom of each barrel, like I mentioned before, is a drain because you want the water to come back to the your water, to your nutrients. So you can see kind of below some of these hoses. And like I said, some have disconnected from uh, the little incident we had last week but more or less super happy about it the tomatoes are great if you look at uh, a close up on these uh, tomatoes they, they yielded lots of tomatoes we had uh, vegetables especially leafy greens we're really happy in these barrels and we're hoping next year to have Leafy greens, more kale, more uh, uh, collards, um, Swiss chard. Oh yeah, Swiss chard. We had beans. Beans, and so, but definitely no okra. But all right, so this is it. This is a high pressure hydroponic system coming from from uh, Saint Jean in Quebec, Canada.